the best experience you can get from backrooms is simply by reading the wiki pages kind of like scp the wiki pages there's only wiki pages or is there like actual backroom stuff because the backrooms is still pretty popular it's only been i mean it's been nine months as you can see by this video here like that i think it's just the the interest of how weird and unknown the backrooms are and the idea that you can just like phase into it which is super cool it's a super cool idea uh i think there are just above 200 floors currently made on the wiki jesus <laughs> 200 floors and are they all technically canon or are they all just like you can disregard floors if you want to and just do whatever you want with them because <laughs> that's insane 200 floors there's a huge rabbit hole because there are also floors with decimals really floors that are negative numbers some examples includes floor 0 0.7 level 7.l level uh, and level <laughs> apostrophe oh my god or exclamation point so the normal levels diverse and size, security, and safety are the blueprints of the back room. So levels are homes, sustainable communities, others pose major threats to any life inside them. Okay. We must warn you that the back rooms do not abide by normal earth laws. <laughs> Physics is thrown aside more chaotic anomalies. So zero, the lobby. So, whoa. So this is confirmed to level zero. I thought this was level one. Posted to 4chan, May 2019. The most prominent threat to level zero is the is the stark lack of available resources as the fluid saturating the carpet has deemed unsafe for human consumption. Most are likely to perish before managing to find an exit due to extended dehydration, starvation, and exhaustion. So there really isn't very many enemies in level zero. Or, I mean, this is the most prominent threat, but majority of the time it's just like, yeah, there's, there's no enemies. Uh, there might be here and there. No clipping through a wall will transport you to level what might... <laughs> Negative one. Breaking through the floor may lead to level 27. It may also lead out into the void. Why isn't there a thing for the void? Can I click on the void? Rarely, rarely wandering far enough in any direction may lead one to the main illa room. I'm curious to know what level negative one is. The grayscale halls. Negative one, also known as the grayscale halls, is the first negative level of the back rooms. Also beginning in cluster. Oh my god. This photograph was found on level 89999. <laughs> 8,000 level. Le excuse me? What did that say? 223 quadrillion 372 uh, 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 trillion. Uh, wait, no, no, trillion. Oh, tri sorry. Okay, whatever. It is quintillion. It's nine quintillion. An endless ending. Endless ending the true final level. Why does it have to be truly the final level at specifically this number? You could have just put like 99999. Uh, is the signed 64-bit integer limit? Oh, okay. I literally already answered my question right there. It is the, one of the most mysterious locations currently known in the backrooms. Although most would say the backrooms are infinite, uh, those that know of this level would disagree. Those that have managed to reach this level, I don't know how you would even manage to reach this level, have not been able to go higher for years, and for some, even millennia. Not only is level this uh, one of the most dangerous levels in the back room, it is one of the hardest to enter. The only way one can properly describe the surroundings of the level is uh, a simple, cold, brutalist staircase that leads upwards into an endless into an end. Nobody knows if there's anything after this, or at least there's no way to get there. If so, the space continues for at least billions of miles in all directions. Oh boy. The existence of this level, along with the rest of uh, interrooms, has been cited as support for the theory that the backrooms are either a simulation or a computer system of some kind. Uh, up an informed decision on the destination. Below descriptions, okay, level go to level, which states the elevator ride. We'll probably decision the promised land as it is the exit to the front rooms. The front rooms? What are the front rooms and what is the promised land? The front rooms, survival difficulty class habitable. The front rooms are a level of true baseline reality separate from the back rooms. So is the front rooms just, the front rooms just earth? Just earth? One of the first images registered front rooms, unfortunately photographs, we're able to view the dimensions all at once. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> it is divided into four or seven major portions of land depending on your- So it is just Earth. It is just Earth. They're literally just describing Earth. The Promised Land. Is this like heaven? The Promised Land was formerly- Why is this like so different looking? 
if you were to live here and get inside like maybe the the promised lands or maybe someplace where you have like infinite food i mean sure infinite food is you know not amazing but it's food right food and drink eat yourself to death if you can't escape infirmary okay room very safe containing various kinds of medications first aids and neon water bottles neon water bottles what flavorless neon water curably rare colored variation of almond water this sustenance can be found in a variety of different flavors with light carbonated ranging from enjoyable to rather undesirable the flavor profile will oftentimes be accompli uh, accompanied by color that is commonly associated with uh, generally any explorer outside of level 3999 will not have a chance of ever finding neon water cafe studios outpost in 3999 the promised land minus 150 minus or level 1000 and crafted from almond water crushed and crushed up crystals from the underground what is going on backrooms also some weird shit like liquid pain liquid pain okay you've piqued my interest how do i explore objects liquids almond water here it is liquid pain how do you even get almond water okay let's go to liquid pain liquid pain otherwise known as subject 12 is a highly toxic corrosive and acidic uh, substance found in later levels of back rooms so it's just acid i mean i can imagine any sort of freaking thing <laughs> <laughs> any acid would be considered liquid pain uh, liquid pain may be prepared in cooperation with in cooperating almond water with skin stealer blood skin stealer blood ntt10 most commonly known as skin stealers are large humanoid entities that can wear the skin of their victims as a disguise okay that's good to know in almond water what is almond water I assume it's just water with almond. In a lot of levels across the back rooms, it is a critical source of hydration and slight nutrients or nutritional value. It is a sweet almond slash vanilla flavored water that can be found in bottles of several types. Typically without a brand or label of them, almond water can be found in clear water bottles, metal water bottles, glass water bottles or wine bottles, and even cartons. It can be traded for, traded with, and can be used to repel entities and to cure some ailments. Some levels even use it as a form of currency please tell me there's like someone has made almond water a real thing because i actually want to drink it now if it has like a almond kind of vanilla -y taste to it i'd be down to try that out it sounds nice it sounds more like milk than like like almond milk almond milk with vanilla i assume that's basically what it is rather than actual water <laughs> it's been real i have to search that up because if almond water is real i will totally buy it and i will totally drink it on stream oh it is a real thing i think shark tank products this is it from shark tank Victoria's Kitchen, yeah. And if you can see right here, uh, if I go here, you see? It's the same thing. Does she know of this? <laughs> does she Does she know of this? It looks like that's her, right? Or, uh, yeah, maybe. Almond water is a popular European drink that is, that is finding a home in states. Victoria's Kitchen naturally, natural beverages makes this tasty drink easy to enjoy anytime. 55 calories, made with purified water, cane sugar, almond, vanilla, rose, and citric acid for a sweet, refreshing twist. Try almond water, coconut. Yeah, so th this, does she know about this? What a rabbit hole. Yeah, seriously, this is crazy. Because that would be freaking insane if, like, she shuts down the whole operation of the back rooms. Where she's like, how dare you use my product for this abomination of a, <laughs> of a story. <laughs> and then after that, then they probably just have to cut it out, right? Then they would just have to, like, switch it to something else. I mean, they can use almond water, I guess. But it, it can't have this Victoria's Kitchen. It can't have that logo. It would have to be a completely different thing. Um, they would have to just cut this out. And be like, yeah, it's just it's just almond water. But it's, it's very it's very interesting how like almond water, mint licorice flavor, coconut flavor, mint licorice. Can I buy this? This is in 2015. Where can I buy it? Oh, Victoria's Kitchen almond water is no longer available. Oh, <laughs> oh. it didn't do well, did it? <laughs> Victoria, oh, you oh, you should have waited. Oh, you had the chance, dude. You could have remade your entire product into like a like a freaking um, backrooms product. Do you know how many people would have freaking bought this product if she had just waited? I don't know when it when it when this uh, became no longer available. But if she had just waited for the back rooms, she would have made a killing. Oh my god. Every freaking person. Look at me. I would have bought almond water. You, there's still got to be a way you can buy it, right? There's still got to be a way. Time to end the stream, yeah. It's, uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's over. No more almond water. Unfortunate as it may be.
there's got to be a way. It has to be like an Amazon or eBay or something. She she literally told what, what it was, right? She literally told the ingredients. I could make almond water. I don't know how I would make it. I guess I guess I would like crunch up almonds and then just like maybe put it in water and or like and like scoop it or like yeah we can do a cooking stream where i am making almond water eight years ago victoria's kitchen sweet almond water is this made with love um okay yeah look at it look at it. it's very like it's very it's still white it's like or it's very see. i'm gonna read i don't normally cloudy read these little stories it's very cloudy looking okay so it just tastes like sugar water it's basically what i'm just gonna make just freaking because the she said cane water right or cane sugar if you put cane sugar in anything, it's just going to be so freaking sweet. D especially depending on how much you put. Oh, rose water is easy peasy to find. Oh, it is? Okay. That's good to know. We can, we could we can definitely try it. We can definitely try it. Joe, you can also make liquid pain in your kitchen? That is true. I could make liquid pain. You sent me a recipe. Okay, uh, I'll look at that recipe. What is? What do you mean by recipe? The almond water recipe you must try. Ooh. Uh, with that being said, I'll be showing you how to make the very almond water in this recipe. Okay, so the exact same almond water in this that's pretty crazy. Unless this is Victoria herself. I don't know how she got the recipe for this. I like how this, like, we, we were exploring the back rooms, but this turned into just me trying to figure out what almond water is and me wanting to drink almond water. Because it seems like, it seems like almond water is the key to the back rooms. And if I can make almond water, I'll understand the back rooms more. I just have to read over everything and try to figure it out. Because uh, who knows how long that'll take for the stream. But I, I am so down to do that. I'm so down to make freaking almond water. And just try it out and see how it is. And then maybe, maybe if I make it, maybe I will be transported to the back rooms. Who knows? It is a possibility. And if I if I have my camera, my stream on, there may be a possibility that I'll be able to transport into the back rooms with my camera, right? And then I'll be streaming in the back rooms. I'll be the first person ever to stream inside the back rooms. We'll close this stuff out. I'll keep that almond water there just in case. Skin stealers, we don't need anymore. So liquid paint. We were, we were talking about liquid paint, but we got into like a huge rabbit hole about this. Almond water and skin stealer blood combined make liquid pain. This can be carried out by adding a few drops of skin stealer blood into a container of almond water. The almond water will begin to bubble and violently turn red. Effects of liquid pain are curable until it reaches the fifth stage. Drinking almond water is known to have a sizable chance of curing the effect of liquid pain. If successful, all damage is done to one's body by liquid pain will gradually be reverted. If unable to cure one's... Uh, oneself before the fifth symptom occurs the last three symptoms will be forcibly undergo will be forcibly undergone without any way of preventing such second symptom of drinking liquid pain is a fierce sharp stabbing pain in the stomach that will only occur so what is the point of drinking liquid pain what is the point it's literally just skin stealer blood right i can imagine if you drink skin stealer blood it's probably exactly the same you would probably die is <laughs> the final symptom of consuming liquid pain is the explosion of one's stomach and eyeballs. <laughs> the victim's organs burst open and leak their contents inside of the body. This is not fatal. What? Although those uh, with such a fate may very well wish it be. The pain is utter, excruciating, and has been found to have caused seizures. After the conclusion of the seventh symptom, the victims will become paralyzed, unable to move their limbs. However, they will still be conscious and aware of the pain. Afterwards, the bones of each limb detach, preventing the victim from ever using their limbs again. Approximately 12 months later, the victim will succumb to liquid's pain, liquid pain's deteriorating effects. Jesus Christ. They're just trying to make this as horrible as it can be. So can I like, what happens if you get like just a little bit of liquid pain, like in your mouth, right? If you just drink a little bit. Level smiley face. You feel a sense of relaxation. 69999. Oh, is this the lean room? This is the lean room. Level 69999 is the 7,000th level of the back rooms. And the final level of cluster VII. Uh, the void, there it is. We found the void. Oh my god. We, freaking, we finally found it. So level 6999 is otherwise known as the neon pool rooms. It is previously mythical. It is a previously mythical and unconfirmed level only told in legends. Similar to the promised land. This level is notoriously... And very hard to enter as it requires a complicated step-by-step -step process depending on which level you're in. Most of the objects in the level are kind of futuristic themed. The most common colors here are purple, red, blue, pink, yellow, and black. These colors are usually never dark and are always, always bright. Almost always bright. There's an, ab uh, an absolute absence of many useful objects and supplies. Noble ones being almond water, neon water, rarely. Galactic slushy? Nutritional value moderately high. I'll fuck up a galactic slush. That sounds pretty bomb. <laughs> it really does sound pretty bomb. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
I am so down for some galactic slushy. The slushy, galactic slushy has been made up of crushed up ice, vanilla syrup. They love vanilla. Oh my god, almond water. Oh my god, it's all coming together. Um, and certain dyes. However, the only way of getting vanilla syrup is extracting it from a galactic slushy. What? The slushy has a sweet, sugary vanilla taste and a refreshing vanilla smell. Uh, a strange characteristic of these beverages is that they don't melt and they stay cold. It's unknown why this happens and there are no plausible theories. So like, if there's a really hot place, you could probably just get a bunch of galactic slushies and just like strap them onto you, right? Because they're, they're, they're infinitely cold, right? They always stay cold. So if you're in a really hot place, you just have a bunch on you, maybe have like a coat and just put a bunch so you're like, that coat just stays cold. That'd be a great idea, right? If there's a really hot uh, level, which I assume there probably is. Galactic slushies are used to refresh people, strengthen the immune system, relieves headaches, regenerates energy, and soothes burns. Unfortunately, it doesn't increase your sanity like almond water. <laughs> I never knew almond water did that. I never knew it increased your sanity. What? But doesn't decrease sanity either, so no worries. <laughs> the vanilla syrup is responsible for soothing burns. It's used as a pain relief throughout the back rooms. Wait, so if you get burned, you put it on there and it soothes it, or do you have to drink it and it soothes your burns? There's instructions, poggers. Oh yeah, wait, wait, there's instructions to actually getting it? Oh yeah, there is. <gasps> wait, ingredients. Some blue indigo purple dyes, eight tablespoons of vanilla syrup, eight tablespoons of almond water, one cup of crushed ice, a couple of traces of molybdenum. Yes, I have that. Oh, I have a bunch in my room, currently. It's right here, right there. Molybdenum. So they're not that rare, but they seem really good. They seem really good. Is it effective against entities? Depends. Okay. Is it edible? Yes. Is it safe? Yes. Tinnable? Yes. Vibrant vanilla flavor. So it's basically just like a vanilla a vanilla icy. Which sounds really weird, but... Again, I'm down to try a vanilla icy. Uh, what is level question mark? Eleven... Or, uh, exclamation point. Um... Reason, this page needs a rewrite. Reason, overrated and video game-like concept. <laughs> okay, let's read it. Let's see what, it, what it's about. Level, okay, is one of the most dangerous oddball levels in the back rooms. And one of the, one of the most, wait, if I go to this level, does it have a rewrite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This page needs a rewrite. <laughs> Reason, overrated concept needs, needs to have no exits and more description. One of the most entity infested levels. There you go. <laughs> right there. <laughs> if you just add that in, it automatically becomes like, a, okay, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just that. Known as the run for your life consists of a long hallway, approximately 10 kilometers in length, uh, with its structure resembling that of a hospital. The hallways have several doors, each one approximately three meters from each other. There are some bright flickering exit signs entities for the uh, entirety of the level. Okay. About 10 meters. Upon entry, you immediately notice a loud alarm sound with no apparent source. The alarm sound varies from person to person to become the most alerting one from whoever is inside the level at that moment. Yeah, of course. Uh, a few seconds after entering, one will then notice a horde of entities, hounds, skin stealers, facelings, etc. Heading directly for them, the apparent objective is to escape the level as fast as one possibly can before it's too late. One must run non-stop, avoiding various obstacles along the hallway, such as hospital beds, chairs, something, sometimes even entities like clumps blocking the way. Okay, main various items can be found in keep one ring, such as energy bars, bottles of almond water. Yeah, so it's basically just like a game. Uh, just, you just have to run and escape, is what it seems like. I, I want a backrooms game where it has to do with like trading and like going to outposts and stuff like that. I think that'd be really cool. You explore and like... Kind of like a, kind of like a, like a, oh my god, like Escape from Tarkov style backrooms game, right? You can just, you can just go in, right? You, you are like, you have outposts where you can trade stuff. Uh, you go into like these different rooms that you find and explore. Um, there might be other people who try to kill you. There might be entities that try to kill you. And then if you actually do escape with your life, you, you go back to like those outposts. You trade, you can sell stuff, be, get better stuff, get gear. That'd be freaking awesome, right? Because I know for a fact a lot of a lot of the backrooms games are just like, like a like a like you know just like a simulator of just going through something and potentially dying or whatever. Uh, but an idea like that that'd be so freaking cool. I don't like playing those types of games. I mean I do like playing those games kinda. Uh, they get very annoying very quickly. But maybe an Escape from Tarkov backrooms type game. It doesn't have to be multi multiplayer because there's already like crazy monsters. Uh, it would be pretty cool if it was multiplayer. 
But like you can start off as like not multiplayer and just the entities themselves and the rooms themselves can kill you super easily. Um, and then, yeah, just escape for Tarkov. You can come back, you can sell stuff, you can go to different outposts, all that stuff. A very survival trading kind of game would be really cool.